guys welcome back to my channel it is your girl miss Caleb, and i'm back with a new video today's video is a little personal um as a woman we all have insecurities and we fix them sometimes we leave them sometimes we just try to embrace them we tend to try to fix ourselves to please people or some people fix themselves to please themselves because they're just so unsatisfied and they just can't deal with it no more. So I just wanted to come on camera and just share with you guys some of my insecurities to let you guys know that you're not the only ones out there dealing with a whole bunch of insecurities. Everybody battles with something. You know, we keep it balled up. We beat ourselves up, we compare ourselves, you know, social media is a big impact on that. I feel like it makes people just have to compete with each other when it does not have to be like that. But I just wanted to come on camera and just share with you guys my insecurities that I have and insecurities that I fix because I just wanted to. It's insecurities I probably will fix in the future. I don't care what anybody have to say. This is just how I feel. I've always heard people say you're so beautiful. Why would you do that? Um, I, I just hear it all, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you don't live in my body. You don't know what I go through. You're something that is in human nature is just something we wish we can fix. Some things are unfixable. Some things you're stuck with. But the overall thing of life is to be happy, grateful, and blessed you know, disease free, cancer free, that you're living, you're waking up to see another day. That's what's important. If you are new to my channel, make sure you are subscribed. Hit that notification bell so you know when these videos are pushing through. Let's get into this video. My first insecurity that I have is this knot on my forehead. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I have a scar right here. And I've had that since I was born. Well, not since I was born, but pretty much how I got that scar was I was a baby and my mom left me with my godmother and her kids stabbed me in my forehead when I was a baby. Luckily, I'm alive. <laughs> but yeah, that's what happened. I was stuck with this ugly scar and my sister actually told me that my mom wanted to sue, but she didn't sue. Um, Growing up, this scar has <laughs> just annoyed the hell out of me. Um, I was bullied about it. They, people always used to ask me, oh, where did that come from? Like, why do you have that there? And, ugh, you know what I'm saying? But it was just like something I had to deal with. I can't fix it. This is something I can't fix, but I've learned to just accept it. Um, I don't like it, but what can I do? Makeup covers it up, but it doesn't look like a knot, but if you rub your finger over it, it you can feel that it, it's a knot. Um, I hate it, but it's not killing my face because I'm still beautiful, I'm still bomb. And yeah, so that is one insecurity that I don't like, but I can't fix so it. My next insecurity is this right here. Um, from a surface piercing. This was about two and a half years ago and my body rejected it. I have had my tongue pierced, my lip pierced, my ears pierced, my cartilage pierced. And this piercing, my body was just like, eh eh. <laughs> um, it just pushed it right on out and then of course my skin reacted to uh, a keloid and um, I'm stuck with it. I can change it. I'm gonna change it. I'm actually in the process of trying to figure out if I'm gonna get it surgically removed or if I'm going to get steroid injections to get rid of it. At first, it was so small and then like this past year, it just stayed, like it just grew a little bit and then it just stopped growing. Um, it don't bother me, but I hate it. I hate it more than the one on my forehead. And I really regret getting that piercing, and I have not gotten any piercings since. I don't think I'm gonna get any piercings. Um, I've gotten older, so I'm just over the piercings. So yeah, this is from a piercing. Do not get that piercing. And if you do get it, 
make sure your piercer is piercing it with the right jewelry. That is my advice to you guys because my piercer did not use the correct jewelry and that is why my body kind of forced its weight, forced the piercing on out my skin. So yes, this is, this is something I'm trying to like, you know, accept, but honey, when I wear my hand in my ponytails, it's just there and I just don't like it. So just, it is what it is, I don't care, um, but I am going to fix it eventually. Okay, so another insecurity that I have that I eventually fixed was my teeth. So many of you know I got braces in 2016, about 2016, so it's been three years now since I've had my braces off. Um, here's a picture. I, I had really horrible teeth. Like, they were just so bad. I sucked my fingers, and my parents told me when I was young, keep sucking your fingers, you're gonna have buck teeth. I used to suck two fingers, and then one got slammed in the door, so I sucked the other finger. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I had really bad teeth growing up. I didn't really get bullied for that, but when I got older and you know I started dating and stuff and I used to look in the mirror when I put my lipstick on I'm like Ugh, that's not cute so I ended up getting braces at the age of 26 and yes I had the wire mouth I was a wire head for about a year and a half so glad I made that decision because I love my smile now I'm more confident when I smile I'll be smiling for no reason honey like you see these teeth yes but yes I love my teeth if you guys are looking to get braces, I highly recommend you do it. Best investment I've made, my insurance and the cover, I paid for it out of my pocket. It was $5,000, the best money I spent. Um, I had a monthly plan, so I paid about $250 a month. And $600 down, I mean, it's the best investment. Invest in your smile. That is the first thing people see when you open your mouth. So, yes, I'm so glad I fixed that. And as you guys see, like, come on now. That is just horrible. So my next insecurity that I have is my elbows. I hate that my elbows are so dark. <laughs> I don't know, like I've tried every cream, every soap in the world, but that's just for me, literally like when you know when you sit up on a bed and your elbows are like touching to hold you up for posture, I believe that's where that's coming from. My knees isn't as dark, but my elbows are and I hate it. Like, I tried lotions, I tried um, soaps, and nothing seemed to work. So, I don't know if I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna see if it's a way I can use some maybe natural products to try to lighten it, but it's not like bad, but it's something that I see that I'm just like, when I take pictures, I notice it. It's just not cute. It, it's just not cute. So yeah, if, it's, if I can fix it, I'ma fix it. Another insecurity, my boobs. Um, a lot of you know that I got a breast reduction May 6th, and before I had some, <laughs> I don't even know, double J's, okay? Like they were so big, I couldn't fit nothing. I just was having bruises. I still have some bruises. It was more so like not cosmetic. It was more like I had back pains. I had shoulder pains, scars, you know, like hunch. <laughs> like, come on now. People think it's just because you want to have the nice perky titties. It's not all about that. And I am so glad I got it done. Like best decision I've made. Like my braces was good, but the breast reduction was like that top that Back in the day, I knew I wanted one, but I wasn't like so serious. I didn't take it serious. I didn't think that I was ever gonna get it. Like I always had it in my head. Like I want a breast reduction, but I just never took the steps to go get it done. So this year, I was like, uh-uh, I have to do something. And then like it, my weight was just piling up. So they were just growing. Um, I had to fix it. I'm so glad I fixed it. I'm not insecure about them no more. My breast was so big that this shirt, you would have seen my cleavage. Like right now, you really don't see any cleavage, and I love that. Um, I'm not wearing a bra with my dress. I would have had to wear a bra with 
my other boobs, you know? So I'm glad I fixed it. That was a big insecurity. I couldn't wear dresses that I wanted to wear. I couldn't wear bras that I wanted to wear. Um, I was stinging in the shower when I took my bras off. I had to hold my titties if I wanted to see how my stomach looked after working out. I had to wear two bras while I work out. Like, it was just so much. Like, I'm so glad I got that break, and I'm so glad that I fixed that. It is something I'm so glad I fixed, and that is not insecurity anymore. So, if you're looking to get a breast reduction, I think you should go for it. Definitely, definitely a good investment. My last insecurity is, drum roll please, my weight gain. <laughs> that is something you can change if you're not lazy, like, me. I'm a little lazy now. I work full time. My job. I sit all day, so I really just be like out of it. Um, I'm working on it. I work out more because my doctor's like, girl, you got to start working out. Especially if you don't want your boobs to grow back. So that's like kind of my motivation because I don't want to go back to square one. You know, I already like crossed out that on my goals list, so I don't want to have to go back to that. You know. My weight, I was, when I was at like 140, I lost so much weight. I honestly was too skinny in people's eyes. I thought I was okay. I actually thought I was still fat. But you know, when you came from 180 and 140, it's like a mental thing. You've been working so hard and you still don't see the results. It was just that kind of thing. So as I got my first place, you know, when you start working, you have kids, you're still taking care of home like the weight started coming with me it was just like as the years passed I was just gaining weight I would say about 2016 2017 that's when I noticed like my weight was just starting to like pick up say this year I was fighting depression I'm not depressed anymore I would say but I'm still not 100% myself. But that had triggered my weight gain a lot because when I get off work, I would come straight to my room. I wouldn't even go out with my girls. Um, I would duck and dodge a lot of stuff because I was so depressed. I would drink wine. Sometimes I wouldn't even eat. I would just drink wine. And you know, if you drink too much wine and you're not on a healthy diet, those calories can pick up. So I put on like a whooping. 40 pounds I'm you know 180 so it's kind of like girl <laughs> what are you doing with yourself a lot of people are like oh that's grown woman weight you thick in all the right places and to me yeah I'm thick but it's not I don't like it I, I just don't like it all of a sudden my face was getting fat like you know double chin was coming in and like my arms was getting fatter you know like I just I just didn't see myself and I felt like I let myself go and I let myself down. But with surgery, I had no choice to lose a couple of pounds because my doctor wasn't gonna approve it. I had to lose just a little bit of weight and by option, I wanted to lose weight because I wanted the best results, right? So now that I'm losing weight, because I am losing weight, yes, pat on the back, because your girl is losing weight, I'm thinking about getting lipo. It's not set in stone, but if I do document that, I'll let you guys know. I might, I might not, because some people are just so judgmental. I don't have time for the bull crap. And I love you guys, but some people are just like so nagging. I don't even want to be involved. So if I do, I might. I'm still thinking on it, but I am doing it the right way by losing weight first and then probably proceed to maybe doing something about that. So that is pretty much it. Those are all my insecurities. Again, as a woman, embrace, love yourself first because nobody's gonna love you like you love you, girl. And even if you're a guy, love yourself because that girl's not gonna love you like you love you. There's so many things you can do to try to change yourself, but just try to learn to love yourself first before you change it because that's the difference and it's gonna help you in the long run. So just because you don't like your titties, try to love them first and wear things and embrace it and then when you get the surgery you're gonna love them more you know what i'm saying same thing with if you don't like the size of your butt um a lot of men like petite women you know small booties matter too if you don't like your stomach do some ab workouts if you don't like the way your nose look 
contour. You know, it's just so much things out here that we can change a quick fix without having to do all this extra stuff. Some things like scars, you have to embrace. I have scars from my rescue action that I am learning to love. Cause guess what, honey? I take these scars any day over that weight that I was carrying. So don't let nobody make you feel that you have to be a certain way, you have to look a certain way. If you want to shave your head off, shave your head off. If you want to have hairy underarms, have hairy underarms. You know, just make sure your man is okay with that. <laughs> but no, for real, you have to love you because at the end of the day, your sanity matters. You matter. Nobody else matter. And if you have children, your children, your kids look up to that, especially with girls. Like, you have to learn to love yourself that way. Your kid can see that. You know what I'm saying? Not saying, like, if you go get surgery, you don't love yourself. Do what you want. It's your body. Don't let nobody change that. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do this and do that. And if you do this, you're doing this and it's sinning and it's blah, blah, blah. Like, it's your body. You have to live with that. Okay, so I really hope this video was helpful to anyone. And yes, I'm not afraid to let people know I have insecurities and I don't care what anybody has to say. I still think I'm beautiful. I'm gonna fix what I wanna fix. And yeah, my life, my choice, my decision. So as always, loves, be bomb, be blessed, be better, but always be yourself, sis. And I'll see you loves in my next video. Bye, loves.